Okay, let's take a live look outside right now over Seattle and it's gray skies, although we have had some sun breaks, although a very breezy afternoon, nothing like the winds on the coast. Take a look here. This is video from the Westport area this afternoon. So Adam Claybon tracking it all for us from our King 5 Weather Center. Those winds were just howling in some places. Yeah, they were really picking up here uh, earlier this afternoon. I think the birds, though, if you saw some of the birds in the sky, they looked like they were having fun. They were just <laughs> kind of staying in place and just riding the wind. Uh, not as much of it later on into the evening, but not completely going away either. We still have a few advisories and warnings that are out because of that wind. But uh, the strongest of the wind now passed us. Uh, here's a look at some of those other numbers that we saw. The push right around 62 miles per hour for its peak gust today, Tacoma closer to about 45 and green water around 51 winds right now. Uh, they are coming down, but we are still noticing winds around 11 miles per hour, still coming more out of a south direction. But with the front now moved on by instead of some of those lower 60s like we had earlier this afternoon, we now dip back down into the 50s and probably will fall into the 40s as we head on into the night. There's some of those little birds just flying on by again. Here's a look at the direction of the wind coming more from the southwest, so not much of a cool down tonight. It's not going to be a drastic one, but we are still keeping winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour in a lot of spots ever right now at around 24 for a sustained wind in the gust, the quick burst of wind that you notice outside sometimes. Those are around 25 to 29 miles per hour here across the area and the highest of it still across the northern sound and getting closer to northern interior right along the coast. Check out how it did blow around some of the leaves and the trees here earlier today. You can see some of the flag, uh, the flag also kind of blowing around at this Lake Stevens uh, spot right here. As far as what we're noticing with temperatures, though, many of us still sitting around the upper 40s uh, and a lot of lower 50s, too. We go on into the evening and we will start to notice uh, the rain letting up for a little while late tonight, but it'll probably be while many of us are asleep. By the time we head out tomorrow morning for work again, here comes another round of rain and that will be sticking around for at least the first half of the day. Some more breaks in the showers as we go into the afternoon, maybe a few sun breaks to go along with that as well. And I think we'll get a better chance of seeing more of those sun breaks by the time we head into a Thursday. Lows tonight, upper 30s, lower 40s, down to 43 in Renton, about 38 in Bremerton, 41 in Tacoma, Puyallup right around 40 degrees. Highs tomorrow topping off in the upper 40s and lower 50s, 50 in Stanwood or right around 51 in Bellevue, Redmond right around 48 degrees Seattle topping off at 51 and more of the lower 50s in Tacoma and in Lakewood Federal Way at about 50 degrees along the coast 49 in Ocean Shores Chehalis at 53 for your high and going farther east across Washington seeing a lot more of the low to mid 40s possibly some 50s farther south and east forecast here over the next seven days. Uh, yes, going to be seeing a bit of a cool down into Thursday as we drop down to 48 Friday. We're back up to 50 though, and I think we see one of us the sunnier days that we're going to have heading into Saturday with maybe some fog trying to hold on during the morning hours before another round of systems will be on their way in here to start off next week. All right, Adam, thanks. And by the way, we have Love getting to know Adam these past few weeks here, a month already at King 5 News. So this week we want you to get to know him too. And if you have a question, text it to us at 206-448-4545. So oh, Frank, <laughs> go ahead. Bring it no, on. Frank in Seattle <laughs> wanted to ask, uh, have you learned how to pronounce those funny city names? We've talked a bit about this. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Not all of them. Uh, a lot of them, yes. Uh, I've just asked a question about a couple of them earlier here this hour. Uh, yes, I'm working on it. A lot of them, though, <laughs> uh, they do come off kind of easy after you kind of get a hang of it and you look at it and you're like, oh, yeah, well, that kind of makes sense when you look at it that there way. There are a lot of names. And here's the <laughs> thing. You just, you ask. And that's what yeah. the, that's all you can do. If you right. don't know how to say it, you ask us. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds easy enough. Work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you two can ask Adam a question. Shoot us a text, 206-448-4545. We will ask Adam on the air all throughout the week for you.